Uh, okay, so I will start defining the entities inside uh, using type or n inside this folder. So first thing, I will create uh, a folder called entities. Oh, sorry, you know I will rename this to database, and then create a folder called entities inside of it. Okay, and inside the database itself, I will create a um, a file called connection so con dot typescript and most of the work in this in this video will be here so just to establish connection so first thing I'll import the reflect metadata so these are required so because type I'm using decorators to do a lot of things define relations define columns so you need to import that and we need to create our ts config to json file and in this one we need to put uh, the compiler options so typescript won't compile on us when we use the decorator since they are uh, i believe they are experimental so we'll put them like this so compiler options uh, emit decorator metadata true and experimental decorators true so when we when we use now decorators the typescript compiler won't complain and even the text editor won't complain and um, yeah now I will import from type rm the connection class and uh, create connection function Okay, and I will import. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Okay, so const init db would be equal to a synchronous function. So I think uh, that does not accept any anything and retains a promise. So since it's an since it's an asynchronous, so this will retain. A promise and with of type connection so first thing const connection will be equal to await create connection yes and this accepts an object which holds your credentials to the database so if you are using type uh, sorry if you are using uh, postgres or mysql you will put uh, Username, uh, the password, uh, the host, and the DB on uh, database, like this. So this is what you'll do in case of Postgres or Type RM or Siri or or MySQL. But I am using uh, SQL eyes. I'm using SQL Lite. So type will be SQL Lite. And database will be of type, sorry, will be named uh, happy.db. And this will, will create this database relative to this path where you call this function. So I will call that here inside our index to TypeScript. So when I call it, the database will be added inside this path relative to the index to TypeScript. So it will be at the root, this database. And remember that in the first video I installed the, the driver for SQLite. You need to install the PG driver for Postgres or MySQL for MySQL. Okay, so after creating the connection, we can... So this will just establish the connection but won't build our tables. So to build them, you need to call uh, synchronize function. And this accepts a boolean which is called drop before sync. So it, if you pass it through, it will drop everything and rebuild the whole database. So I like putting this as true in the development phase. And this is a promise, so I wait it. Uh, and at the end, just retain the connection. I think that's it for this file. Now let's just, let's just export the netdb and our inside our db folder create uh, an index to typescript for exporting and 
do just export from connection yes export the uh, init db and i like to do this so in the file i am importing that i will import them in uh, a very short syntax so import from add db like this so and by default the the import and even the require syntax will look if you did not give it the file name it will look for the index so we have the index type script it will look for that and even the text it will help us so here's the init db and this is like export with import so i'm exporting from this it's like it's like two things at the same time so i can at the end after the server started i can just init the database or i think no before it so i wait uh, init the db to then i will console in the then callback so console log uh, I will get, I will use the emoji library, I will get the dvd and then dp init and that's it I believe by the way if you are wondering how I can know the, these strings for the emojis uh, let me show you so if you go to the website which is called emojipedia go to any uh, just go to any emoji let me show you an example for example this well it's a silly thing i know but uh, you should use this string which is the same thing that github uses it's the short codes so you put this and that's it let's run it so npm run ts node dev index timescript so if there is no errors the server should start and we should see uh, a database but there is an error yes I have the code in another screen <laughs> I'm cheating so I'm using the same port now we can run it and it wouldn't fail and we have also our database and I'm using an extension called I can't remember. Yeah, this one to read the SQLite database inside my VS Code. But you can use DB either to do that. It's very cool tool. I will show it to you. Um, DB and it can connect to a lot of databases, even NoSQL and graph databases, time series, and a lot of things. And it's an open source uh, database, which is nice. My internet connection is slow, but I think, yeah, uh, that this one, the Viva, it's really good if you if you want to take a look at it. I think that's it for the connection. It's really easy. I will start defining then the users entity and the posts, then fake their data. Maybe in, in later videos I will return to uh, more complex entities, uh, many 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 to many relationships. Uh, but for now I will just create two entities with one to many relationship and many to one and do some crud on them authentication authorization maybe i will create file upload and stuff like that but just uh, let's just try to focus on happy js instead of type rm